Let's find our comfortable seat. Let your legs be relaxed on the earth, whether they're crossed or extended out in front of you. Feel both of your sitting bones resting either on a blanket or on the earth. Maybe even using a blanket to tip the pelvis forward a little bit to support your lower back. And then allow your ribs to lift away from your waist ever so slightly. Lift your shoulders, roll them back and down. Let your shoulder blades release towards your waist. Find that place where your head is just floating above your shoulders. Relax the muscles of your face. Let your eyes be closed or half closed if closing your eyes doesn't work for you today. I'm just muting everybody. So we enter into our practice by focusing on the breath and allowing that inhale and exhale to just be natural as it is. Noting any strain or stress or tightness in your body, either allowing it to be there or just relaxing it if you can. Feel your breath flowing from belly to throat, throat to belly. So we'll begin our practice today in Garuda Mudra. So uh, it's Eagle Mudra. So bring your hands, palms in front of your face. And then you're just gonna bring your right palm, cross it over your left palm until you interlock your thumbs, like eagle wings. And then lower your arms down to a place where you're not straining in your shoulders, your upper arms. Garuda Mudra. There's so many benefits to this practice. It includes the energy of releasing fear, the feelings of letting go. It's beneficial for your digestive system. It increases the fire energy to digest food easily. It's used to get rid of lethargy so it energizes the whole body and improves the function of all systems. Your breathing, your peaceful breath and imagining receiving the energy of Garuda Mudra. Garuda Mudra stimulates the element, the fire element. So it also warms up and lubricates the dry air. So it removes stagnant body fluids. It's beneficial to maintain lymphatic drainage and stimulates the lymphatic system. regulates blood circulation of the body. In Garuda Mudra, the hands are placed so that they point in three different regions. Therefore, it improves the efficiency of the major body organs, kidneys, lungs, and heart and stomach. It helps with all respiratory ailments. It's beneficial to build strong immunity. So many benefits 
So as always, you know, the practice, if you're drawn to this mudra and you'd like to continue this practice on your own, three times a day, for five to 15 minutes. So we're particularly doing this with the intention of respiratory and lungs. This time of year, a lot of allergies arise. And so our intention is to clear up the whole respiratory system. Also, wind, it rebalances vata, which is air. And there's been a lot of movement, a lot of windy days. So we're just balancing. So when you feel like um, scattered, can't really ground yourself, thoughts are just scattered all over the place, you know, you're forgetting things. And this is a really good practice to balance. So I'm going to be quiet for about 30 seconds and just follow your breath, maybe even using a count to that breath. Receiving the benefits of this mudra. Take a long, deep breath in, fill your lungs. Let it out through your mouth with a sigh. <sighs> Bring your palms together. Bring the thumbs to the center of your chest. And with your thumbs, lift your chest. And let's open our class with an ohm together. Inhale. Oh. Oh. Lower the hands down to the lap. Lift your shoulders. Any tension there, relax the shoulders down as you breathe out. Keep your head over to the right. Back to center and over to the left. And back to center. Turn your head to the right. Back to center and over to the left. And float the head back to center. Float your arms forward and up. Feel your sitting bones balanced on the earth as you rise and lengthen your torso. On your exhale, bring the right palm to the floor alongside your right hip. Relax that right shoulder. Turn your gaze down towards your right hand and circle your left wrist. And reverse the circle. Back to stillness. Now bend that left form and bring that left hand behind your head, your back, wherever it comes to. Just give a little tap with your hands, either to your head or your back. And come to stillness. Bring your gaze forward. Rise up. Lift that right arm straight up to the sky. Then bend the right elbow. Bring your right hand either to your left hand, your left forearm, or left elbow, wherever it comes to, so that you can still keep your head lifted and moving towards the wall and back of you. Breathe deeply with nice open armpits, breathing into the space right underneath those armpits, the upper ribs. Extend your arms straight up to the sky. Turn your left palm away, sway to the left, left palm to the floor. Circle your right wrist. Keep the right sitting bone Grounded, secure on the earth. 
circle your hand the other way. And if you haven't already, turn your gaze down towards the earth. Bring that hand to stillness. And then bend that right elbow, bring the right hand behind your head, your back, wherever the hand comes to. And breathe into the right lung, right side of your waist. Bring the gaze forward, rise up, lift that left arm, bend the left elbow, hand to hand, forearm or elbow, wherever you're, it comes to is perfect today. Lift up on the pelvic floor, draw the belly up and in, deep breaths into the upper rib cage. Extend your left arm up, extend the right arm up. Bring the hands forward and round into that cat pose. On your inhale, bring the arms back and open the front of your chest towards the front of the room. Exhale and come forward. Inhale, open back. Continue a couple more. The next time you come forward, lift the arms straight up to the sky, twist to the right. Let the hands fall wherever they fall. Shoulders relaxed, grounding the left sitting bone down. Relax your shoulders, encourage the shoulder blades to move towards each other, opening across the front of your chest. As you breathe on twist, lift the arms, and on your exhale, twist the opposite way. Watch the breath as it flows in and out. Soften anywhere that's rigid. Be the witness of your body, your breath, and your thoughts. Untwist and lift the arms and release the hands down alongside you. Fingertips to the floor, lean back ever so slightly and stretch your legs out in front of you. Coming into Dandasana, staff pose, bring those arms alongside the body, roll the shoulders back and down. Feel the backs of your legs touching the earth, point and flex your feet. And then circle your feet from one direction and the other. Bring the feet back to center. Step your right foot to the floor. Bring your hands to that right shin. Lift that leg, hug it in a little closer, and then place the right foot on the floor. Guide your torso towards that right thigh. Few breaths here. Lift the right leg, bring the hands on the back of the thigh. Keep the chest lifted, the navel supporting your lower back. As you exhale, bring the heel towards the thigh. On your inhale, extend the leg. Let's just do that a few times. And extend. Keep lifting the rib cage towards the ceiling. Shoulders relaxed. Bend the right knee. Hold on to the foot and the knee. Rock the leg side to side. And as you do so, you can lower it down towards the left leg and bring it up towards your chest. Or just keep rocking it side to side.
And now make a circle with that right knee. Let all of the weight of your leg be supported by your arms. Reverse the circle. Bring it back to center. Guide the leg over to the left. Guide it over to the left and then rest it down on that left leg. Sit up tall. Slide the thumbs to the hip crease here. Point the elbows back. Encourage the thumbs down as you lift the ribs and chest up. From that point, hinge forward ever so slightly just to the first point of sensation of resistance. And then slightly, slightly bow the head and relax your hands down alongside you. Rise up, lift the arms forward and up. Turn your palms away and bring the fingertips in back of you. Walk those hands towards each other. Lift your heart. Point your left toes. Walk the hands alongside your body and slide that right leg over your left knee to cross the ankles. Walk your hands forward and fold. Roll up one vertebra at a time. Lift your right leg and bring it back in line with the right hip. Lift your left leg, step it to the floor, and then lift it up a little bit closer towards your torso. Place the heel on the floor, hands to the shin. And a few breaths here. Bring the hands behind the back of the thigh. Extend that left leg towards the ceiling. Create space between ribs and waist. Relax your shoulders. On your exhale, bring the heel towards the thigh. And on your inhale, extend. Continue. And bend that leg, hold on to the foot and the knee, and just rock that leg side to side. Remember to continue to sit up tall and support your lower back. And now circle the leg. Your awareness on the hip socket there, the femur bone into the hip socket. Reverse the circle. Bring the leg back to center and now guide the leg over to the right, just to the point where you feel resistance and then lower the leg down. Bring the thumbs into the hip crease, point your elbows back, firm the thumbs down towards the earth as you lift the front of your torso skyward. From that point, exhale and allow your body to just move ever so slightly forward just to the point of sensation of stretch. Bow your head slightly and bring the hands to the earth. Look up, rise up, float the arms forward and up. Turn the palms away, bring the hands in back of you. Walk the hands towards each other. Lift your heart, draw those shoulder blades together and point the right toes. Bring your hands forward. Slide your left leg over that right knee until the ankles cross. Point your toes towards the sky. Walk your hands forward and.
noting the difference between this side and the other. And where you might feel stretch might be a little different on each side. You are the observer without judging what the experience is. Look up towards your feet, rise up, and uncross your legs. Step your feet to the floor and bring those legs nice and wide apart. Walk them apart. Maybe mat width apart here. Come off of your blanket if you're sitting on a support. And now let your knees come over to the left. Lift your right arm up to the sky and all the way over to the left. Lift the right arm up to the sky. Bring those knees back to center. Bring the right hand down. Lift your left arm up. Bring the knees over to the right. Bring that left hand to the floor. Lift the left arm up, bring it back, knees to center. Now, bring your knees over to the right, bring your right hand to your buttocks and encourage that twist over to the left. Hold here. Bring your knees back up to center, right hand to the floor. Come over to the other side, knees to the right, left hands. Assisting that twist. Bring your knees back to center, hand to the floor, over to the left. This time we're going to bring the right hands up and over, right hand to the floor. Stay here in the twist or walk your hands forward and fold over the left thigh or come down onto the forearms. Even further, you can stretch those arms out, bring your forehead and chest to the earth. Watch the breath as it flows in and out. Maybe allowing it to deepen a little more. Feel spacious and open and receiving. Be receptive and accepting of your in-breath. Release your out breath with gratitude. Start to walk your hands back in. And then lift your right arm up to the sky. Bring your knees pointed to the sky, right hand in back of you. Switching sides here, left arm up to the sky, knees to the right. Bring that left hand to the floor, twisting to the right. Maybe this is your practice thing right here. If it feels good for your body, come down onto those forearms. Or maybe slide the arms out in front of you and really fold over that right thigh. What's your practice today? Self-acceptance, self-awareness. Breath flowing in, I receive. Breath flowing out, I release. Walk your hands back in towards that right thigh. Lift your left arm straight up to the sky and bring that left hand in back of your knees back up to center. Feet should still be wide apart. Just give a little rock side to side. And then let's the knees come over to the right and let's make our way up to tabletop position on hands and knees. If you need a little support for your knees, use a blanket. Adjusting those wrists right underneath your shoulders and your knees right underneath your hips. Look back and make sure that your feet are behind your knees so that you really can't see them. Lengthen your tailbone towards the wall in back of you and lengthen your crown towards the wall in front of you. And now without changing anything from your waist up, just sway your hips a little side to side.
and bring the hips back to center. Firm the tops of your feet towards the floor. And as you exhale, round your spine towards the ceiling, look towards your knees. On your inhale, lower the belly, lift the heart and look up. Continue, chakra kasana cat cows. Explore the range of motion in your spine. Noticing that movement one vertebra at a time. And then bring your spine back to a neutral position. Firm your right shin to the floor, curl your left toes under and lift that left knee. Rock forward and back on the heel, stretching your calf muscle, the back of that hamstring. And then bring it back, lengthen back, Firm your buttocks, your belly to help float that left leg up, no higher than hip height. If you'd like, extend your right arm forward, palm facing in, thumb up. Lengthen in opposing directions. Lower your right hand down. Exhale the knee to the chest. Inhale and lengthen that heel away. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale and lengthen. Now bend that left knee and bring your left knee on top of that right calf muscle. Left knee on the right calf muscle. And then just rock that knee forward and back, just giving a little massage to your right calf muscle. And now lift that left leg straight back and bring your left knee to meet right. Curl your toes under, arch your spine towards the ceiling, move your hips towards those heels, any amount. Moving to your doable stretch. If it's in your practice, you can even walk your hands towards your knees to deepen that stretch. If it feels right for you, you can bring your hands to right thigh, to your thighs, coming into Vajrasana. Don't force it. So if you cannot sit up tall, just keep your hands wherever they are on the floor. And then slide your hands down to the floor if they were on your thighs. Walk your hands forward back to tabletop. Uncurl your toes. Give a little gentle tap to your feet. And then ground through the left shin, top of the left foot. Curl your right toes under, lift your right knee and lengthen that heel away. Rock forward and back on that heel. Core is engaged, spine is long. Lengthen that heel back from your buttocks, belly, to help you float the right leg up. If it's your practice, extend your left arm out. Lengthen in opposing directions. Keep drawing the belly up and in. Breathe deeply. Lower your left hand down. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, lengthen that heel away, toe pointed down. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. One more, exhale. And inhale. Now bend that right knee and bring the right knee to the left calf muscle. And then just move that knee forward and back. So you can come to the inside of the calf muscle, the top of it, or you can even go to the outside of that calf muscle. Beautiful. Extend your right leg 
out in back of you, bring your right knee to meet left. Move your hips back towards your heels. Keep those arms out in front of you. Extended child's pose, balasana. Let your head just come between your arms, melting the heart and the head towards the earth. Turn your right palm up and bring that left hand on top of the right. Maybe encouraging that right thumb down towards the floor just a little. Bring your left hand back in line with your shoulder. Turn your right palm down. Turn your left palm up and then bring your right hand on top of the left palm and encouraging the left thumb towards the earth. Bring your right palm back in line with your shoulder. Turn your left palm down. As you inhale, make your way back up to tabletop position. Curl your toes under, firm through your big toe mound on each side, engage your inner outer thighs, hug the belly in and lift the knees, bring your chest towards your thighs, and then just straighten your left leg. Separate those fingers wide, feel each pad of the finger engaged, roll your armpits in towards your ears. And then rebend your left leg and straighten your right. Don't force it. Lift your ribs. Think about length from crown to tailbone. Rebend the right leg. Lower the knees to the earth. Come down onto your forearms. Uncurl the toes. Stretch those toes out. Curl the toes under. Same thing on the forearms. So if the wrists are something that doesn't work for you in downward dog, we can um, either come to a puppy dog stretch or we can come onto the forearms in downward dog. So same thing, firm the big toe mounds on each side, lift your knees and just bring your head and chest towards your thighs and then straighten your legs just a little bit. Crown towards the earth, tailbone towards the sky. Take the weight off of those toes. Roll the inner thighs inward, the outer thighs outward. Tuck the belly in. Lower the knees down. Uncurl the toes, move the hips back towards the heels. You can come into traditional balasana if you like, bring your arms alongside your body. Just let your forehead either rest on the earth or use a block to support here. See if you can let your out breath become longer than your in breath. You were in traditional child's pose, balasana, slide your hands out in front of you and then make your way up to tabletop position. If you have blocks, make sure your blocks are handy on either side of your mat in front of you. Hands to the floor, curl your toes under, fire up the inner outer thighs, the buttocks, the belly, Lift your knees, bring your head and chest towards your thighs, straighten your legs any amount. Lift your right leg up to the sky, lower the right leg down. Lift your left leg up to the sky, lower it down. Come up high onto the tippy toes, bring your head and chest towards your thighs, and then release the heels down as you lift the toes. Bend the knees, 
baby steps forward till you come to your forward fold at the front of your mat. Relax your arms, relax your head. Sway your hips side to side. Come back to center. Place your palms of your hands on your shins, right below your knees, point your elbows back, straighten your arms and lift your chest away from your legs. Draw your shoulders away from your ears. Hug the navel in towards the spine, exhale and fold. Bring your hands to prayer position at your heart center. Squat, lower that buttocks and lift your heart, look up. Press into your feet, rise straight up, lift those arms up. You can keep your hands in prayer position over your head or separate the arms. Palms facing in, sway to the right, sway to the left. Back to center. Bring your hands to prayer, glide them down towards your heart. Bend the knees, buttocks back, lead with your heart and fold. Bring your hands to the floor. So really squat, let your belly rest on your thighs. And then let's bring the right leg back and the left leg back, back to downward facing dog. Imagine that you are spreading that mat apart. So you're moving your hands towards the mat in front of you and your feet towards the mat in back of you. Lower down to your knees. Keep your toes curled under, point your elbows back, point them back. Inhale to a cow pose, start to lower the forearms down to the earth and bring the chest and chin forward. Use your core, hug it in until you can bring your chest and chin down to the earth. Uncurl the toes, slide those knees away from the belly, inhale and come up to your sphinx pose. Look to the left bend, your left leg. Lower it down, look to the right, bend your right leg. Inhale to center, come side to side here. Beautiful, back to center, slowly release the chest, the chin, the nose and the forehead. Slide your hands back so that your hands are right next to your rib cage. Your elbows are pointed up towards the sky. Separate your legs, mat width the part. Hug those arms in close to the body as you lift your shoulders and draw your shoulder blades together. Breathe deeply, lengthen your tailbone towards the wall as you tuck the belly in. Firming the tops of the feet, inhale, lift forehead, nose, chin, chest, lifting the upper back, press into your hands and lift all the way up. Rise up to table, walk your knees underneath your hips, curl your toes under, engage your belly, firm the big toe mounds on each side, lift your knees, bring your head and chest towards your thighs, moving back to downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forward, baby steps forward until you come to your forward fold. Hands to the shins, inhale flat back, exhale and fold. Hands to prayer, look up, squat back, press into the legs, rise up, lift the arms straight up to the sky, release your arms down alongside you. Coming into our balancing pose, Garudasana Eagle Pose. So let's take our blocks and bring them to either side of the feet. Make sure they're touching the sides of your feet so you don't have to reach for those blocks. Let's stand in mountain pose for a few breaths.
long exhalations out. From your right leg to the earth, get light in your left. When you're ready, lift your right heel. So remember just your pace. Watch your breath as you are practicing. Lift the left leg when you're ready. Roll the knee out to the side and bring the toes of that left foot to the block. As you do this, press down into your right foot and imagine lengthening up, the energy of moving up all the way to the crown. Now let's squat a little bit. So weight is in your right heel, sink down a little bit. When you're ready, lift the left leg, cross the left thigh over the right, bringing the toes to the block on the right side. Belly's engaged, chest is lifted. If you'd like to add the arms, or if you feel a little unstable, you can bring your hands to your hips. If you'd like to add the arms, right hand, palm facing forward, left hand, left palm on top of right. And then your choice here, either you can come right to Garudasana, or you can turn your knuckles towards each other and lift the elbows. Breathe. Hug the inner thighs together. Chest lifted, core engaged, deep breath. Lower your arms down. You can bring them to the hips for more stabilization. Press into that right leg, lift your left leg up and step it to the floor. Come to standing mountain pose, watch each breath. Notice those muscles that you've used, those stabilizing muscles in your right leg. Send gratitude to that right leg supporting you, knowing that those muscles have grown just a little stronger. Inhale deeply, exhale completely. Letting go of what's coming next, just being right here. You're breathing and you're standing strong and tall in your mountain pose. Eyes are half open over the tip of your nose. Ground to your left leg. Get light in your right. When you're ready, only when you're ready with your breath, lift the right leg up, toes to the block on the right side. Weight is in your heel, sink down a little bit so that left knee is never locked. Core drawn in, lift up on the pelvic floor, breathe. When you're ready, cross the right thigh over the left, toes to the block. Make sure you're not locking that left knee joint. Hug the inner thighs together. Lift the ribs. Keep your tailbone long. And then if you'd like to add the arms, left palm in front of you, right palm on top of left, either Garuda Mudra with the thumbs interlocked or bring the knuckles towards each other and then lift the arms, drawing the elbows towards each other any amount. Let your exhale become longer than your inhale. Let's everybody bring the hands to the hips. Ground through that left foot. Lift your right leg up. Place the right foot on the floor. Maybe notice now, <clears throat> excuse me. Maybe notice now that both legs feel a little more balanced. Inhale, lift the arms out to the side and up. Exhale, bring your hands to prayer position. Softly bend those knees, lead with your heart, buttocks back and fold. Bring the fingertips to the blocks and come to a flat back. Exhale and fold, bring your hands to heart, really bend those knees, look up, buttocks back, 
Extend your arms forward, lift your heart, chair pose. Weight is in your heels. Inhale, rise all the way up. Hands to prayer. Bend the knees, buttocks back, lead with your heart and fold. Squat down as much as you need to, to bring the palms of the hands to the floor and step your feet back to downward facing dog. Lift the ribs, roll the armpits in, take the weight off of your toes, look up, lower your knees down to the earth. Keep the toes curled under, point your elbows back, bring your chest and chin to the earth, uncurl your toes, slide those knees away from the belly, on your inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, lower down. Slide your arms alongside your body with the palms facing down. Palms facing down. So you might need to bend your elbows a little bit to facilitate this. And then just check in with your legs. Maybe you need to separate them just a little further apart so that there's room for your sacrum to just release and be peaceful. Rest your chin or forehead on the earth. And now firm the tops of your feet to the earth. So your kneecaps might lift a little. Lengthen your tailbone towards the wall. And now as you breathe in, you're going to lift forehead, nose, chin, chest. Lift the shoulders, draw the shoulder blades together. There's no weight on your hands. On your exhale, lower down. Continue in that fashion. Soft, relaxed arms. This is an upper back, thoracic spine, shoulder strengthening. Continue. When you inhale, there's a lift. There might be a pause here because your breath is, there's a pause in your breath. And you exhale, you lower down. And again, there might be a pause. Continue to keep the tops of the feet grounded and your tailbone lengthening, your core engaged. Move with your breath. Your breath is what makes the body move. One more, and then lower all the way down. And stack your forms now and rest your forehead on your forearms. Some deep belly breaths here, being fully aware of the three parts of your breathing. I am here now. Slide your arms out into a cactus position, palms down. Turn your head to the right. Actually, let's turn your head to the left. Turn your head to the left. And now slide your left knee toward your left elbow, but keep it in line with your hips. You're not bringing it all the way up to the left elbow. And then slide your left ankle right underneath your left knee. So your toes are pointed to the left. Half frog pose. Now see if you can slide that left knee away from your hip a little bit. So you really create some space there in the groin to release towards the earth. You're breathing in and you're breathing out. And you're here now with your breath, with your body and your thoughts. And in this moment, all is well.
Slide your left leg back to meet the right. Lift your head and turn it in the opposite direction to the right. And then slide your right knee out to the side. So it's in line with your hip. It's not higher than your hip. And then slide your ankle right underneath that knee. So you're making a little L shape. Your toes are pointed away from your body. And then see if you can slide your right knee away from your body just a little more to release that right hip there towards the earth, releasing the groin towards the earth. Now, instead of focusing on the front of your body, focus on the back of your body, the back of your torso. You breathe in and the whole back rises towards the sky. And then you breathe out and the back settles towards the earth. Relax your shoulders. Now slide your right leg back to meet left. Slide your left arm forward right in front of you with the palm down. Bring the palm of your right hand next to your rib cage or chest. And then you're going to press into that hand and roll all the way over onto your left side. And then bring that left palm right next to the right and roll all the way over on to your back. <laughs> knees are bent. Bring your knees into your chest for a little hug in. Wrap your hands around those knees. Give yourself a nice big hug. Thank you, body, for all you do. And then place your feet back down on the earth. Slide your left leg long. And then slide your right leg long. And prepare now for final relaxation using any props that you'd like to here, maybe a blanket on your body to keep yourself warm or a pillow or blanket for your head. Take a moment to adjust your clothes, adjust your body. And now breathe in a long, full breath in your, through your nose and then open your mouth and let it out through your mouth and let your body settle on your mat. Let your body settle on the earth. Close your mouth and take a nice full breath in again and then let it out through your mouth and relax. Let any residue tension just release and be absorbed by the earth. For these next few minutes, allow yourself to rest. In your mind, say, I relax my feet and legs. I relax them onto the earth. I relax my hands, arms, and shoulders heavy and relaxed. I relax my torso, my belly, my rib cage and chest muscles. I relax my upper back, mid, lower back and buttocks. My whole torso resting, peaceful. All organs and systems of my body Resting in unison with each other, working in harmony. I relax my throat, the back of my neck, 
and relax my head. I relax all the muscles in my face, my forehead, my eyes and eyelids, my jaw, my cheeks and mouth, my whole body resting peacefully, my breath easeful and I rest my mind, settling on the earth, always supported. Allow yourself to rest here for another minute. Feel all the meeting points where your body and the floor come together. Feel your whole body resting on the earth. Become aware of the steady rhythm of your breath. Allow it to deepen. Gently roll your head from side to side. And come back to center. Give a little wiggle to your fingers and toes. And come back to center. Slide your legs to meet each other or come together. Point your toes. Lift your arms up and over your head and stretch your body. And then relax your body. Step your feet to the earth. Bring your knees into your chest and cup those kneecaps. Circle your knees in one direction. And then circle them in the other direction. And come back to center. Place your feet back down on the earth. And roll to your favorite side. And don't just rush back into getting up. Just really be here in your last pose. And just observe your heart beating, how your body feels, your breath, and even the thoughts that arise. Any peace that you have created during your practice Bring it with you, pause throughout your day and reflect on it to bring it back. And now with the strength of your strong arms, your core, make your way back up to seated. Remember to take your time and to sit well. Always supporting that lower back.
Bring your hands to prayer position, Anjali Mudra. With your thumbs, lift your chest. Let's seal the practice, closing it with an OM. Inhale. Oh. Bow your mind to meet your heart, acknowledging the wisdom of the heart and the knowledge of the brain together, working together, together as one. And our quote for today, if it's out of your hands, it deserves freedom from your mind too. If it's out of your hands, it deserves freedom from your mind too. Ivan Neuro. We close our class. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Om peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Thank you all for being here today.